If you have any background in cybersecurity, you know that we have been violating one of the most common principles, and that is we've been storing our users' credentials in plain text. When we insert a password into a database in plain text, it opens up a number of problems for our application. The biggest one is that if our application is compromised, most attackers will then take these credentials and bounce them against other sites. Most users reuse their usernames and passwords. So let's say our auto service application is hacked, a user accesses our database and they get the credentials of all of our users. So now they have their username and their password in plain text. Normally the first thing they're going to do is take them then to Gmail or other online services that we use, maybe our banks, and they're going to try to log in with those credentials. And a lot of the time they're going to be successful. So by storing our users' credentials within plain text in our database, we're really exposing a lot of security risk. And we're also opening ourselves up to insider threats because they could perform you know, that same process. Luckily for us, Spring Security provides an out-of-the-box mechanism that allows us to encode our passwords, and it allows us to compare encoded passwords. So to set up the comparison for encoded passwords, it's very simple. We just navigate to our securitycontext.xml file, and within our authentication provider, we're just going to add a new tag within the security namespace, and this is the password encoder tag. And on the password encoder tag, there is a hash attribute. And you can see there are a number of values you can pick from, and these all represent different hashing algorithms that can be used. In our example, we're going to use SHA-256. So I'm going to pick the hash, and then I'm going to specify SHA-256. And at this point, when a user enters their credentials, their password is going to be encoded and compared against our value in the database. So let's see what happens when we run through this scenario. So I'll restart our server. I'll navigate to the application. Now we're going to attempt to log in with end user. Okay, it doesn't allow us to log in. Well, why is that? That's because Spring Security is taking our password and encoding it into SHA-256. And then when it compares to the value in the database, we have password where Spring Security is storing some long alphanumeric value that makes really no sense to us. So what we need to do is we need to determine the value of our password when it is encoded. So I'm just going to make a quick class within our source test Java package, and I'm going to call this password encoder. And within this class, I'm going to add a main method. And we're going to take a look at some mechanisms that we can use to encode our passwords. So we can use a SHA password encoder. And we'll just call that encoder. And that has a constructor, which is a new SHA password encoder. And then we pass in 256 to that constructor to specify the type of SHA encoding we're using. And then we can get the encoded password by using the encoder to encode our password. And for right now, we're just going to put in our user's password and then specify a null value as the second argument, which would normally be our salt argument. And then we're simply going to print out the encoded password so that we can view it so we can put it into our database. So I'm now just going to run this application as a regular Java app. So I can just go to run as and then Java application. And if we look in our console, you'll see that it is going to spit out this long garbled string. And if we take that string and we put it in for our users password, we will then be able to authenticate because we now have the word password encoded with SHA-256. So let's save that. And now we're going to restart our application, navigate to the browser, and we're going to attempt to sign in again with our end user. And there you'll see that we are able to log into the application now 
that we have stored a encoded password. Within our applications, we need to remember when we create a new user that we use the encoding to encode the password, and that's what we use to store the password within the database instead of storing that plain text. Now, obviously, I have just used a simple class here to encode the password for this user. Ideally, this would be placed within a controller and used when we create a new user in the application. But given that we're using a static database with some already entered credentials, this was just a simple mechanism to encode our password and store it within the database using SHA-256 encoding.